Welcome. Today we would like to uh, take a look to SAP Data Sphere, especially space management. Space management is a cent central central administration for all spaces which are available or should be available within data sphere where you can assign user to where you organize your views and also you can organize your organization uh, within the space management now let's take a look i ordered uh, a data, data sphere tier or instance uh, for my user you can easily do it um, via a search at Google, search for SAP Data Sphere, then you find an entry here SAP Data Sphere Unified Data Experience, and here you can experience, uh, click on the button Experience SAP Data Sphere, and then you can register for it and get a uh, 30 days trial version of it. After getting this, you have, will have this this home screen on, and you can enrich. The left menu bar by clicking on the menu bar menu icon here and then we will find here also the space management within this tier i have one space already assigned yeah you see um on the space management all your spaces you are assigned to and you're able to access it you see the storage the memory and also here a small uh, information one user is available within the space and 11 connections and eight views by clicking on edit you have the possibility to change all the necessary and important options within this space yeah you can rename the space but only the name not the technical id this is fixed if you create created this then this is fixed you have the space management the space name yeah you can uh, change it and after this change you can save it these are the general settings then you also can set the priority of the space and that means if this is a really critical space you can set the priority to high that means this this space or this execution based on that space has priority compared to others. The same for the work, workload configuration. Under the member section, you will find all the members which are assigned to that space. Additionally, additionally, you see the role the users the users have could be data catalog user data warehouse modeler viewer consumer and dw uh, space administrator space administrator means you can change everything within the space management data uh, data warehouse consumer means the this user can only consume views out of this space data database uh, data warehouse viewer can all also see the views the modeler can model views and tables and the data catalog user can can read uh, the information out of the data catalog here we have some uh, database access settings you can set the if you create a view within the data builder you can you need to expose it for consumption to consume it within SAP, SAP Analytics Cloud or Power BI or whatever. Here you can set by clicking it that every view should be exposed for consumption automatically. The next section is if you would like to con consume data within Power BI, for example, you need to have a database user. And within this section, you can create one. By clicking on create, then you will be prompted what what the database user name should be, if the uh, passport policy should be enabled, 
or the user should only have read writes or with grant options uh, or should have access to the HDI consumption. And also regarding the open SQL schema, the user should be able to write data into um, the SAP HANA database, which is in, in the back um, here of the SAP data sphere. You can also enable logs. Within this section HDI container, you can enable access to HDI containers, which are available uh, within the SAP HANA database environment. In the last sections, you see here the connections. Under connections, you will see all the relevant, all the connections which are assigned to that specific space. That means you can connect to systems, cloud solutions, or on-premise solutions like SAP ERP systems or SAP HANA databases, or you also can connect to uh, Microsoft Azure, to, um, to um, Amazon storage systems, to Salesforce Service Max, to a lot of other systems, and also to the SAP BTP platform, especially um, the open connectors part. You can also import the timetables and dimensions, which are already enabled here. Yeah, that means with this, you have the possibility to show calendar information, which are automatically generated. And of course, you can enable the audit logs yeah, and you can analyze it afterwards, what, what happened in the system, uh, which user changed what, and so on. Okay, please feel free to go through this, uh, this sections here, order your, order your own SAP data sphere tenant, and then you can start uh, testing it.